blessings and merry meetings. Gentle lords and ladies, the bands having been published, we are gathered here today to join our noble king, Sir Douglas, of Castle Wolf, and the fair lady Princess Donna of Castle Blackwell, together in holy matrimony. They ask you here to share in their joy and to their love for one another before you as a kingdom. Thou here this day in pledge troth of thy own free will choice? My lady, art thou here this day in pledge troth of thy own free will choice? Inasmuch as King Douglas and Princess Donna have pledged their troth to be married this day, we will be calling on heaven to bless this union. Therefore, if anyone can show just cause why they may not be joined together, by God's law or the laws of the kingdom. Let them now speak, or else hereafter keep silent for all time. Lest it not be overlooked, however, that there is a rumor amongst the knights that any such careless objector shall later be beheaded at the feast for the entertainment of the lords and ladies in attendance. <laughs> No one? I thought not. <laughs> there wisely being no objections to this marriage, let us continue. Will the king's personal assassin please present our lord with the sacred blade? sacred blade that there is no reason known to you that union should not proceed. My lady, is there any reason known to you why this partnership should not be made? No. <laughs> <laughs> let, let us pray. Heavenly Father, creator of all things both in heaven and earth, we humbly ask thee to bless this union. May these thy servants seek goodness in all the days of their lives. May they be strong in defense of what is right. May they be united as one as thou art with God. May they be numbered amongst thy sheep. We humbly pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. his wife, Princess Donna, and pledge unto her before God and these witnesses to be her protector, defender, and sure resort, to honor and sustain her in sickness and in health, in fairness and in foul, with all thy worldly powers, to cherish and forsaking all others, keep thee only unto her, so long as ye shall I do. Do you, Princess Donna, take unto thyself King Douglas, to be their rightful husband, and pledge unto him before God and his witnesses, to honor and cherish him, to cleave unto him in sickness and in health, in fair and in foul, be his one true and lasting counselor and solace, and forsaking all others, keep thee only unto him so long as you both shall live. We will now do a uh, Celtic hand fastening ritual. Ladies of the court, please rise where three cords will be placed over their joint hands. Lady Michaela will now place the green cord, which symbolizes romance, partnership, and happiness. Lady Courtney will now place the ivory cord, which stands for peace, serenity, and devotion. Lady Darian will now place the blue cord, which represents unity, prosperity, and Lady Jennifer. Lady Jennifer will now tie the cord together to signify the time of the night. 
As this knot is tied, so are your lives now bound. Woven into this cord, imbued into its very fibers, are all the hopes of thy friends and family, and of thyself, for a new life together. With the fashioning of this knot, you tie all the desires, dreams, love, and happiness wished here in this place to you and your fertilized with love as you say. In joining of hands and fashioning the knot, so are your lives now bound one to another. By this cord, you are now thus and forevermore bound to your vow. May this knot remain tied as long as love shall last. May this cord draw your hands together in love, never to be used in anger. May the vows you have spoken never grow bitter in your mouths. As your hands are bound by this cord, so is your partnership held by the symbol of this knot. Two entwined by love, bound by commitment and fear, sadness and joy, hardships and victory, anger and reconciliation, all of which bring strength to this year. Hold tight to one another through both the good times and the bad, and watch as your strength grows. I shall now remove the cords. Thou hast pledged troth of thy own free will, and sworn upon the sacred word. Thou hast been bound together by the ritual of the cords. May it be granted that what is done before God be not undone by any man. Before I proclaim you, join, thou must kiss three times on cue. Once, for love, twice, for love, right, for long life. By the power vested in me by our God and this kingdom, I now pronounce you King Douglas and Queen Donna, husband and wife. for a moment. Times like this are far too precious to be tarnished with heavy tongues. However, I would love to take this opportunity to both introduce and dismiss the Royal Party. For some of you may not know who's up here today, we've all had a hand in making this day possible. So if you would just we'll get started here. My stage is ready. Grandmaster Thomas, grandson to the crown.
Lady Jennifer, daughter in law to the crown, wife of my own, as long as you have me, and wedding planner extraordinaire. Sir William, second born to the crown, Lord of House Cora Du. Crown Prince Sir Robert, eldest born to the crown, we <laughs> love House Krasna. <laughs> I myself am Grand Master Thomas, last born to the crown, and the biggest mouth that they could find to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you would please rise and acknowledge your king and queen. Having fun, huh? 